And this outbreak is serious and is potentially ruinous for those dependent on the poultry trade or whose livelihood is dependent on the keeping of birds. In Scotland all summer, we have seen the impacts of this episode of bird flu on our iconic bird colonies in places such as East Lothian, Galloway and St Kilda, and the clearly distressing scenes of these beautiful birds being washed up in so many of our beaches. In response to this emerging issue, the Chief Veterinary Officer in Scotland has joined our colleagues across the UK and declared an avian influenza prevention zone. We know, as the Minister has said, that the risk to public is very low, and in Scotland we have only had four recorded cases. But this is a situation that I am sure the Minister agrees must be kept under constant review. Can I welcome what he has announced in terms of the changes to the compensation scheme? And I think it will be welcome within the industry that there will be a, 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 this will be brought in swifter and allow swifter payments in the run-up to Christmas. The Scottish Chief Veterinary Officer has also said that the housing of birds should not be seen as a silver bullet, and I think the, the Minister will be aware that we are not following the example of Eng England and having mandatory housing of birds at this stage. But I am wondering if he agrees with the assumption that it is not a silver bullet, and what more measures could be put in place short of the housing of birds. The Minister has talked about his engagements with the Scottish Government. Maybe perhaps he could tell us more about this and how much regular meetings he has and what these, co what these conversations have been focused on. But we will, in Scotland, do everything possible to mitigate the risk and, and ensure that we get properly reliable data and that everything we do is evidence-led.